guys welcome back it's Candace okay this might be a hot mess but we're gonna try something inspired by Gail's stuff who was inspired by believe Rachel but I wanted to try something else to see if it'll work but before I did that I thought I would show you my my final let me just move this out of the way you know I told you if it sat around here too long I'd be doing something to it so I took this and put some little glossy accents on there just to look like little raindrops. And, you know, you saw this with the green Nouveau drops. And then I um, drew around the Inspire. And then on this journal card, I went ahead and drew around the Uplifting and put some copper Nouveau drops on there. And some crystal, I'm um, hello, glossy accents. And then put some little dots with the jelly pen down the butterflies just to give it a little extra there you can kind of see it there some little extra oomph so that I just wanted to show you the final final of that one so we'll just put these back in here and then this I don't think I showed the final of these that we did um, I went ahead and put some you know the Nouveau drops and then some little green sparkles on there but that's the the final one of of that that we did with getting more from your labels was actually a misprint one and then this is another misprint one that I went and I added some purple lace down here flora and fauna and then put a few more um, purple nouveau drops and then the green seam binding up here and then just a little bit of green whoops too close let me see make my phone work nope not working okay I'm bad um, just a little bit of dots with the um, jelly accent and then you know the butterfly has sparkles on there okay so let's see if this is gonna work because I don't know but you know how Gail um, hello what's the point of having a stopwatch if it's not gonna stay on all the time um, anyway I try to get a stopwatch from an old phone but then the screen went blank black and uh, what's the point so, anyway, you know how she took some paper and then took some rubber stamps and then stamped it on the paper after she stamped some other things on there? Well, I thought, well, a lot of people might not have, make sure I'm in frame, the frames of the stamps and stuff. And, you know, they're kind of expensive. So, I went and got this one, which is from Ava, what? Well, Av, A V, and then Art Decor, and these are the grungy. Um, it says vintage style grunge labels. I kind of wishing I bought the other one that's not grunge, just because of what I'm going to show you that I did later. But these are pretty, um, just by themselves. So that it's going to work for one thing, but for something else that I'm doing. Uh, I, I didn't care for it. It might be me. It might be operational error, you know. And then this is what you get. Two pages. You get the red ones, a blue border, a green border, a dark green, um, and then a brown border. And then I said, well, I want a little fancier label. So then I found these from Artsology. Oops. Hello. I sure wish I knew what put those lines on here. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Artsology, and it's called just even more labels, and these are, you know, big size labels that are, you get blue, red, and some brown. So, but I went and printed them on some coffee dye paper, and then I printed them two per page, because, you know, don't forget about printing two per page to get a smaller size label so you can get more for your labels. All right, let's see if if we can make this project work. Like I said, it could be an epic fail, but um, it could work. I don't know, but we're getting ready to find out. So let me get my little inks ready. And my little rubber stamping pad just to give it a little extra bump and let's see if we can do something now I'm going to make these this way is what I'm planning on 
And so I just went and pulled, y'all. I have entirely too much, too many supplies. Oh God, how this, my how my husband hasn't divorced me over my little craft habit. It's a miracle. So, but unfortunately now he's stuck with me. So, shh, don't tell him that he, he couldn't get rid of me anytime. But, you know. All right. So, my biggest thing is where to start. Okay, so I'm just going to start with this one. And so we're just going to take them out. Find a block. Easier said than done. I see one over here. He's a long one. I hope I hope they'll fit on there. I might look out. Okay. Oh, I told you. I'm going to flibble and flobbles. And, you know, I've never used this stamp. So, and then this one, what did I, what's got on it? Some of these. So we're just going to stamp because this one looks like it will kind of cover in here. Now, see, I didn't know what it was going to look like with the border on there, but we're getting ready to find out. So we'll stamp one in black. And I'm using the Versafine. And that's not so bad. All right, let's go ahead and we'll stamp one with our cocoa, our dark, our dark brown by Memento. And we'll just see, we'll stamp that one on another one. See what that looks like. Um, let's go up here more. Not so bad. So, you don't have to have the stamp border frame stamps to kind of do this thing. Um, it works using labels. Okay, so I know, like I got time for this, but I got to clean my little, my little stamps real quick. You know, I use a cleaning thing, one of these, you get them at Hobby Lobby, and then some stamp cleaner, you get a Hobby Lobby, it smells like bubble gum. Oh, I put a little extra spray in there, because mm -mm, this smell good. All right, and then let me just quickly wipe that off. So I feel a little bit better, because, you know, I'm sure these stamps cost all of $5, <laughs> I don't know. But still, you take care of your plants. I mean, plants. See, I'm looking at plants. Take care of your labels. All right, so this one, I think I want to do a little background on here. So this is um, Kaiser Craft. They're two different ones. I'm sure I got them at Tuesday morning. Um, I don't know, but I'm guessing. So I'm going to use this little Argyle one. I'm not even going to take it out of the thing. I'm just going to use the plastic that it came on. And we're just going to put it on here. Oh, see? Not so bad. All right. Okay, I'm going to be kind to you. I'm just going to stamp off. I won't clean. I can survive. There's nothing much on there anyway. So... Let's do that, and then let's let's do one with our distress ink on the blue, and see. I'm gonna make a. This is gonna be a, a hot mess thing. Y'all just got to bear with me. And then, ooh, because you know, like I said, I got a big old 13 by 13 workspace. <laughs> and I didn't want to push that C. That's even lighter. I like that much better. All right. Now let me put this back in this little home. All right. Golly. So now I want to do this stamp. Because it's a long ways. Because, you know, we're always looking for... We're always looking for stuff that sticks. There you go. <laughs> we're always looking for long stamps. I'm looking for my long plate right now. There it is, my stamping plate. I'm going to hit it on myself. Okay. So now I'm going to stamp 
the darker brown with the black stays on. You know, and don't worry if this doesn't come out all, you know, perfect. Kind of like that one. Yeah. I don't know. Not my favorite. So now I'm kind of wondering. I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one with black. I was going to do it with the darker brown, but I think uh, the stamp is getting lost on here. So let's just, maybe I didn't condition it good enough. How about we didn't condition it at all? All right. Oh, yeah, that's much better. So, yeah, don't use your dark cocoa because your black doesn't show up very well. Okay, and now, let's see. I had some little butterflies. Hold on. I like this. See, that's the problem. When you have too much stuff, you have too much to choose from. And you can't choose properly. You can't choose quickly, that's for sure. Alright, so I have this little one, which is a Hampton Art. Like I said, I either got this from oh, you dinky Tuesday morning or Joanne's. You know, those are my stomping grounds. What can I say? So we're gonna put this little butterfly up here. Well, yeah, that worked good. And then we're going to not do so hard, and we're going to put him up here. You see? Yep, you can see. i got papers in front of my fingers, but it's not showing on camera. All right, well, that turned out okay. Oh, i got to get my husband to make sure my stinking phone stays on. I can't tell my time. All right. So I might leave that butterfly on there because I might, I might use him again. So, all right, now I want to, want to, want to, I want a number. Yes, I'm digging over here. I pulled all these things out, twice the stack that I showed you. Yeah, twice as tall. Now I'm trying to find, I had a bunch of numbers. I swear I did. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Here's a number. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. So no, I'm not happy. I need a number. Lord, you know, I might have left my number somewhere. Oh well, I know I need to take, put my lid on here before I get ink everywhere. Oh. Okay, I'm moving on, I'm moving on, moving on. Really in. Alright, so now we're just going to get... We're going to take our little air mail. I'm going to lose my butterfly, but maybe one of y'all will write to me and tell me where the heck it went. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to stamp one of them. It doesn't matter which way because, you know, we're going to cut them out. We're going to do one with the black and then one with the brown. Now, I know I'm cro cross-contaminating my stamps. Here I was worried about making them clean. <laughs> that one out the window. Okay. Still wish I knew where those numbers went. But I do have a number pack real quick right here. Hold on. I didn't put these up yet. So I sure like to know what I do with all my stinking numbers. <laughs> all right. So we're going to put... Number three on here. I know that didn't make a hill of beans, but it will. And we're just gonna my my little thing. We're gonna put a little number three on here. Stamp them off. If you're wondering, you know, this is what everybody has. You just go to Etsy, type in wooden stamp seal group, S E A L group. Um, actually, here you go. I got, oops, upside down. I got it on Amazon. 
So you go to Amazon, and it's a nine-piece wooden rubber stamp number. So you know those skew numbers doesn't mean squat. So don't even think they they're gonna help you, because it's only for the Amazon people, <laughs> not for us humans. Okay, so I have these numbers. Let's see what they look like. Um, this is just a Craftworks cards. Um, can't tell you where I got them from. Like I said, I didn't label any of this stuff when I got them way back when. And I've had them for years, as you can tell. Never been used. <laughs> but let's just rub them and condition it a little bit. And we're going to put this in our brown for our background. And I hope I don't... And I am. I'm going to run over onto the others. Well... That's fine. That's why it's called crafting. And then we got a little bit of number left right here, so let's just put it on, on here because, you know, sometimes you don't get... And that actually turned out pretty cool. All right. We're just going to do this one. As soon as I'm finished with this, we'll go on to the next one because, you know, y'all got the gist of it. All right, so we have that one. And now let me, oh, gosh. All right, now let's see what we have over here. All right, we're going to put these on here. Oh, I don't know where I wanted it over there, but yeah. Right. Let's put that one back. Now I need something here. My numbers that I had would have been beautiful, but I've lost them. Oh, hey, here's one. Wine enough, you can find it. But those aren't the ones I had. There's like four other sheets of them with just numbers. But I'll take this one. We're going to put a pretty number five on there. Obviously, one of the cats are out there by the door, and Molly's seeing them, because she's a-barking. She better lay down. Molly, you better lay down. I'm wondering. See, I'm liking this number five, so we're just going to, I'm going to put number five on here, too. Because it was pretty. And these are some, whoops, craft works cards. <sighs> Don't know. Don't know where I got it from. Looking at that is probably Tuesday morning. Okay, so we have those. Now let's go ahead. Let's put our little backgrounds on here because I'm just running my mouth getting out, getting out, getting out of hand. Okay, we have these little butterflies. Now I'll be needing them in this a journal coming up, so let's just put some butterflies back here. I hope I'm in frame because you know I just walked down to China to work. And then we'll put a little more, we'll put some up top here on this blue one. Alright. Oh, I think I, I don't know. I should have used my distress one on that one for a lighter one, but too late now. Oops, let me wipe off some ink. Got a little crazy on my stamp pad. All right. So. Let's see, what else do we have? We got some trees and some bushes. 
I have this one, which might be cute. Well, here we go. Let's fight with the packing. I, I got to put it in a little regular envelope with the white behind it so I can find it and see it. Okay. So, let's, let's see what we can do with these. We have some words, some script, maybe, if I can get them off. You know, sometimes not using your stuff is bad. And let me make sure I'm going to get the words right. Well, we might be doing it upside down, but I'm going for it. Not enough room in here. And then let's go ahead and do a little more up here and we'll stamp it. Um, the sides and the middle is a little faint. Yep, I'm getting ink all over everything. Oh, Lord. All right, and let's go ahead and oh. put some over here. And let me hit, hit a little in the left hand corner of this. All right. So yeah, just pull out your stamps, start stamping, and see what you come up with. All right, let's see this one. I know there's another little block. Okay. I'm just going to put this on here. Put that up there. that one there and it probably wouldn't look so bad right there and put a little black right there oh y'all I know I'm not supposed to toot my own own horn but these are kind of looking cute What else is on this little page? So I guess the challenge is to use one sticker page <laughs> and see what you can get from it. Um, we have some tall little flowers. Ooh, they must have shaked and baked that one on there because they don't want to come off. All right, let's use some dark brown. Our little postage stamp needs some flowers. Okay, maybe he didn't. But he got some. Um, our little butterflies on this side could use some. Um, that one. Let's go back here. On this one. Oh, this one says he's lonely. He needs some flowers. Okay. And then we have this other little flower. I guess I'm going to stick with my memento, my dark brown. And we're just going to see if we can't get a couple of them on here. Like they're floating around. And then... I think my number five needs something. Okay, that'll work. Maybe he needs a friend there too. I don't know. It might look better before. Oh well. You know, if you get some that goes into the other one, psst, it's just more personality. And I'm just leaving that one all alone for some reason. Did you do? All right, let's put him back on. 
Now I saw, oh, where does this go? I saw this little bitty word. So let's see what we can do with that and some black. Once again, oh, this way. <laughs> I can't read it. It's upside down. Oh, avalanche. Oh, so it says P.O. Box 134, in case you're curious. We'll put that on this stand one, too, here. I can't even see. It looks like blob. A blob. Okay, enough of that one. Not my favorite. What else do I have on here? Bum, 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 bum. Let's just stamp this one on here since I have one, a naked stamp. A naked label, I should say. We're making them a stamp. So let's do this one on here. Let's see what we get. We get, we need some help. Yep. Yeah. Let's put some sunflowers on there. Oh man, I just stuck my finger smack in the ink. Well, 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 well. Maybe we'll try to hit a little over here. All right, I think we'll have to call that good because now we're just getting into a mess. You know, we have to go on to another one because I'm sure that took 30 minutes. Sure did. All right, so let me close this up, and we'll. Okay, hold on. I gotta put a butterfly on here. I know, I know. Told y'all, serious problems. Not that we're gonna see him after we cut him out, but I know he's there. Ooh, I don't know what. Something gooky all on my fingers. All right, let's leave it alone. Hold on, I got a mess over here with my ink. All right, now let's cut them out real quick and see what we got. Oops, let me get back. I'm I don't know where I was, but I might not have been in there. And I think I'm going to go around this little wing and let them hang out. Let them stick out. Ooh. Not that we really need to, but let's just ink around there. And then... This is what it looks like. There's that one. I'll cut all the other ones out and then I'll show you that later. But let me see if we can't get this other one done. Because, you know, I like those labels too. <sighs> now that I lost them. Okay, so we're going to use the Artsology Even More Labels. And we're going to do the same thing with that. But I think I want to... Instead of using the white background, I want to use the coffee dye ones that I have. And let me do a couple of each one because I know I'm going to need them in something else. Oh, don't have room for this. Alright, so let's see what can we put in here. Let's go ahead and hit it with my other stamp. Some texture background. I think we're just gonna maybe use this one. This is a Stampendous. I got it on Amazon in 2020. So let's just ink this and see what we get in the back. Um, let me use my Distress Oxide for this. Just so we have a little more room for layering. See, you got my scissors all in my way. Oops. I need to push it a little more. And 
I'm just going to put it on there. And then we're going to call that, that back and good. Let me stamp this off a bit. And back in his home. In his home, sweet home. If I put it the right way, it might go in there better. You know, they could make these envelopes just a hair bit wider. All right. Now we have some, I don't even know what this is, some kind of newsprint. It looks like some ferns or something. So let's use the next shade of brown and see what we get. Okay, a hot mess is what it's looking like, but... You gotta start somewhere, y'all. Okay. Let me get some of that ink off of there. All right, we put this one back in here. And then let's see what we got. I guess I need to put the ones we've used away so we don't use them again. All right, we have Got these little damask and some trees. Let's do this little damask. Oh, that is some suction. Let's see, you know, I know, let's just make a blob. Let's use this uh, stormy sky blue and see what it looks like with this damask. I don't know, it might be too light. But we're gonna try it anyway. Well, that's not so bad. It's kind of pretty. Oh, all right. It got kind of ugly fast. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. And let's just put some of this in the oval by itself. Cause I like it. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay. This looks like it's gonna leave a lot on there. Let's stamp it off real quick. Best that I can. Like I said, I'm gonna be having to clean my stamp after this. Oh, I'm liking that. That one's really pretty. Not liking this mess. It's <laughs> gonna drive me crazy. Isn't that what Curly says? <laughs> the Three Stooges. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of wondering if I want to do anything dark. This might be too. Yeah, I'm kind of straying from that one. All right, let's, let's not use it. I didn't like it after I looked at it. I'm going to put my lid back on before I stick my junk in there again. All right. So, definitely want to put my little butterfly on this one. I like that one. And I might put a butterfly down here. Yep. Okay. What else do we have? everything literally everything under the sun all right let's use some little postmarky things and obviously this is a duplicate because this has no ink on it <laughs> that means the original somewhere else all right and let's do a little black for these And just cancel those because it went through the mail. It's been canceled. Just like a TV show. <laughs> you think they go around there and, and put little cancellation marks on, on people's dressing room door? It says, You've been canceled. All right. 
me stamp this off on here. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. But I'm looking at this other one. It's calling my name. It says, use me, use me. stamp these on here for stamping off good riddance all right oh where'd you come from all right and then we're going to use our little y'all my fingers are turning all colors a little cancellation wave I think I'm done with the postage stamps on that one. Now I want some little flowers going up the side. How big is this? Ooh. And this is from Mo Card, you know, the Your Creative Studio. Oh, this is a whole stinking stamp. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use that because. I will make too big of a mess. All right. Oh, I bet you I put them over here. I bet you I didn't. I bet you I got a mess. Oh my God. Where'd I put them? I know you guys get so tired of that. Trust me, I'm tired of it too. I just had them. Oh my gosh, it's all falling down. All right. We're going to go over here. We're going to use these backups because this is not the one I wanted, but it's going to have to do because I've lost the other ones that I just had. See? Too many options. Too many options. All right. Let's stick with the, the darker brown. See, I can't have them all be the same. Oh, oh, there it is. Duh. Right there underneath me. Where it didn't belong. Oh. All right. Let's go back to the original plan that I wanted. My original flowers. Okay, so I want this tall one right here. Then the skinny one right here. Ooh, I like this skinny one better. If I can get it. I think I'm going to leave that one alone because um, I, I like it how it is. He might need a little more. Right there. All right, let me just stamp him there. All right. Um, 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 um. He needs something. I think he needs a butterfly. But maybe we can glue the butterfly on there. But, I mean, I think the whole, whole uh, point of this is to do it <laughs> with your stamps. Isn't it? Oh, here, we'll do this one. Lord, I won't be able to touch nothing white when I'm done with this, because, um, yeah. I have got some ink on me.
This one's just going to be a light flower. Just some light flowers in the background. If I can find where I just got this from. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is sad. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can't stamp this and stamp it off. I don't want a medium one. I've lost my paper. Jeez. Oh, Imagine that. Be able to stick him here lightly. And then I want him here. And then I guess we'll stick him here because I need a light one of this right there. So we'll have a few little flowers. I kind of like that one. It's very subtle. Unlike me. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's cut this out and else. Let's cut this out and see what we haws. This kind of looks like a a certificate or a card title <laughs> frame. Okay, I'm kind of liking these. These turned out pretty. them and like I said I'll show you this up close and then I will turn this off and I will go cut these out and then I will show you the final stuff so let me hold this up real quick and there's that one you put it on the back so you can see didn't those turn out pretty I know you can you can write in the comments and put nope they didn't won't hurt my feelings none <laughs> all right so let me pause this and let me go cut some stuff and then I will come right back and show you see you in a bit Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got them all finished and, oh, well, cut out. So here is the first set that we did with the the grunge labels that was already had the, oops, that's upside down. See, I'm always upside down. So that's them. They turned out really pretty. And then this is the ones that I did with the, the browns in the, what is that? Stormy Sky from Tim Holtz. It kind of blends really nice with the blue on this label set. So that was those, and then these are the other two that didn't fit on my piece of paper. Because I only have one big piece of paper here. But um, and that's that real faint one. It really turned out pretty. So I hope you guys give this a try. And I will be back with yet another way to do with these labels. So thanks for watching. Thanks for spending um, your afternoon or evening with me. And have a blessed day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.